exactly how it worked. I uh, was riding for White Brothers Honda doing some four stroke nationals, and uh, I was just going to race a few nationals here and there. And actually, uh, Warren Johnson from Fox came up to my uh, came up to my house for a week, and uh, he was hanging out with me and riding and stuff, and just having a good time. And we went uh, to Binghamton National, and he said, "Hey, I, you know, I, I gotta have you talk to the Cowie guys." So we went over and talked to the Cowie guys, and uh, I talked to Mark Johnson a little bit. Warren introduced me, and and I guess Fro had uh, said some stuff. So um, kind of talked to Mark, nothing really in detail. And then uh, he said he would let me know. He said he'd give me a call if there was anything that came around, but he didn't expect, you know, uh, he didn't know what was going to happen. And um, you know, I waited about a mid middle of the next the week after I got a call from Mark Johnson and I actually called him up and it was just kind of a all right man whatever you want to do um, here's what we can offer you and something like that and uh, then from there on it was just kind of history you know I don't know if that had anything to do with it to be honest with you I think that it uh, I think that it can only help but uh, I don't know I think I think my four stroke, a couple of years of riding four strokes and stuff, um, might have been big for you know, big for Kawasaki as far as maybe thinking that I had could bring some knowledge of the four stroke machine itself to the table. And uh, but I, I really don't know. I think it was just a lot of people helping me out, a lot of guys uh, saying good things about me and, and saying you know how I'm a hard worker and things. And I think that uh, Kawasaki was looking for a guy that could come in here and put a lot of laps on the test track and also hopefully give them some great results on the racetrack. So um, fortunately for me and you know fortunately for me it worked out and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah my first couple days it was a little weird. Uh, I kind of felt like it didn't you know it, like it didn't have as much power but uh, the more and more I ride the bike I actually I absolutely love it you know it feels like it uh, handles really good and it's really stable it's just uh, we're working on the motor and it gets better and better. It just uh, seems to be super fast for a 250F. Um, haven't had too much experience on another one, but uh, it, it seems to be it was made the transition from my 450 to my or to the 250F very easy, so it worked out well. We'll probably play that one by ear. Just keep working at it. I would. I wouldn't be afraid to say East Coast. Well, I'd like to, uh, obviously I'd like to come out of the, you know, one of the Supercross series in the top five overall. I think that's a real um, attainable goal, a goal for me. I just uh, need to put my head down and, and, and do that, you know. Uh, top five for sure, but uh, I'd like to see myself on the podium a few times this year and kind of get my feet wet in Supercross. And then uh, Outdoor Nationals, I'd definitely like to see myself once again in the top five. And, have some uh, strong finishes. Just uh, I want to be a strong finisher all year. I want to be consistent and be up near the front, not kind of hit and miss. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, they need to know that I've been there for a long time. I had many years of privateer, um, so it's not like I just got this thing handed to me. I've been working hard and I've had a lot of good support through the years to get me to where I am. And uh, you know, it's damn sure guys need to know to just keep working at it. And, Hopefully, you know, this stuff works out. It worked out for me and uh, for the people. Just, uh, you know, I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. We'll see when the season starts, you know. But I think I just need some uh, some good uh, good starts and some good luck throughout the year and, and a little bit of safety, you know, and uh, I should be all right. And uh, you've probably ridden with Warren quite a bit. Is he really as spectacular of a rider as uh uh, as he tells us he is? Absolutely. Warren Johnson has got all the moves. He can just take anybody right now. Um, actually, we've been working with him. He's getting a little bit faster. So uh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy to ride with. So if you ever get a chance, you need to take him down. <laughs> That's not what you were supposed to say. <laughs> yeah.